Hello everyone, I'm Jen Looper, and in this video we'll talk about the lock file and why you should commit it in your projects. After you make any change in the dependencies of your project, for example by running npm install express like we did earlier, you'll discover that a new file named package-lock.json has been created. So if you open this file, you can see that it looks a bit like your package.json dependencies section, but with a lot more packages name and versions. Every time your node modules folder or your packages JSON file is modified by NPM, this lock file will be up updated. This file is actually really important because it guarantees the exact same installation of dependencies, including all of the transitive dependencies over different machines and over time. Because there's nothing more annoying than checking out a project and being unable to build it. While your coworker says, hey, it works on my machine. <laughs> so this file aims to prevent that. And that's part of why you should commit it to your repository. There's also another reason. Without that file, you cannot use the npm ci command. npm ci is a command very similar to npm install, but it's meant to run an automated environment such as your continuous integration. What it does is a clean install of your dependencies based on the lock file and fails if it de detects any mismatch between your package JSON and your lock file. So that way you can make sure that the application you ship in production is the same one you had work, working locally on your own machine. Because packages get updated all the time, the goal of the package lock JSON is to lock unwanted updates to happen automatically when you're aware of them. And that also means that you'll have to manage the package updates yourself, and that's also what we're going to see in the next video. See ya!